NASA and Lockheed Martin just announced the rollout of the new X-59. Here's why the ceremony was such a big deal. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works rarely hosts any type of ceremony at all, as most of their innovations are kept top secret. However, the X-59 has a unique role to play in its very public demonstration and appearance. The X-59 is a supersonic high-altitude jet designed to fly at 55,000 feet at around one and a half times the speed of sound. But get this, it really only has one and very unique purpose. Its sole mission is to prove that it is possible for a vehicle to travel faster than the speed of sound without causing a sonic boom. Instead, it will be more like a sonic thud. But why does this matter? The FAA legislators passed a law prohibiting jets from flying faster than the speed of sound and creating sonic booms over populated areas way back in the 1970s due to uncomfortable complaints from the public. The Concorde jet was the only passenger jet that could fly faster than the speed of sound starting in 1969 until its permanent retirement in October of 2003. A quick overview of the ceremony enlisted much participation from company executives and leaders in Palmdale, California, where the ceremony of more than 150 people took place, many of whom gave speeches promoting, of course, the incredible feat of engineering involved in designing and building this incredible plane, but also to give recognition and praise to the teams responsible for its design and development. Vice President of Lockheed Martin Skunk Works attributed much of the success to the continued collaboration between NASA and Lockheed Martin scientists, engineers, and design artisans who made this all possible. We did get some exciting news from NASA's Associate Administrator of Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, Bob Pierce, who mentioned that the X-59 vehicle will be used to fly over U.S. communities and gather valuable data on how the public reacts to the dramatically reduced sound. Notice it was possible to design an aircraft that would produce a soft thump instead of a sonic boom. Is the thump quiet enough to allow supersonic flight over land? Our laboratory studies would say yes, but the real answer can only be found by engaging the people who would hear it during daily life, and that's the job of the X-59. After a test phase, the Quest mission will fly over the X-59 over U.S communities, collect data from the people below, determine if that sonic bump thump is acceptable, and then turn the data over to U.S. and international regulatory authorities in hopes to then lift that ban. If the X-59 can be substantially quieter than previous supersonic aircrafts, there is a good chance in reversing that law that prohibits supersonic travel over land. It is unclear what certifications will be needed before the aircraft finally gets flown by pilots as it is still in its testing phase, but it is possible it could be within the next one to two years. The X-59, unlike most aircrafts, does not have a viewing window for the pilot to look outside at the runway when landing the aircraft. Instead, there are viewing monitors from a camera mounted on the nose of the plane that the pilot will use for visual reference to the environment. If this all works according to plan, we will once again see passenger airplanes being designed and built, taking to the sky, flying at supersonic speeds over U.S. communities, saving passengers and cargo alike tons of time when traveling. And this time, without leaving a trail from that loud, annoying sonic boom. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't yet, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next video.